The Battle of Sizek was fought on the 22nd of June 1593 between Ottoman regional forces of Hassan Pasha Predajevic, a notable commander of the Ayelet of Bosnia, and a combined Christian army from the Habsburg lands, mainly Kingdom of Croatia and Inner Austria. The battle took place at Sizak, central Croatia, at the confluence of the rivers Sava and Kupa. Earlier in 1591 and 1592 the Ottomans had two failed attempts of capturing the Sizak fortress, but managed to take the strategically important fortress of Bitak in 1592. The Sizak fortress was again besieged by a large Ottoman force on 15 June 1593. The garrison in Sizak was commanded by Blaise Turak and Matija Fiktik, both from the Archdiocese of Zagreb, an army under the supreme command of the Styrian general Ruprecht von Egenberg was quickly assembled to break the siege. The Croatian troops were led by the Ban of Croatia, Thomas Erdudi, and major forces from the Duchy of Carniola and the Duchy of Carinthia were led by Andreas von Auersberg, nicknamed the Carniolan Achilles. They made a surprise attack on the besieging forces on the 22nd of June. The ensuing battle resulted in a crushing defeat for the regional Ottoman forces, triggering the Long War. Background Although the central authorities of both the Ottoman Empire and the Habsburg monarchy were rather reluctant to fight each other after several campaigns on Hungarian and Moldovian land and for renewals of the 1547 truce, large-scale raids were being mounted into each other's territories. There had been numerous raids into Habsburg Hungary by a Akinsula, the irregular Ottoman light cavalry. And on the other hand, Uskosi were being encouraged to conduct raids into Ottoman territory in the Balkans. Clashes on the Croatian frontier also continued despite the truce. The Croatian-Ottoman border went between Koprivnica and Virovitica to Sizak, then westward to Karlovac, southward to Plutvice Lakes, and southwest to the Adriatic Sea. Croatia at the time had only 16,800 square kilometers of free territory and around 400,000 inhabitants. Although its strength was depleted from the constant conflicts on the border, late in the 16th century Croatian fortified cities were able to hold Ottoman forces at bay. During this period Ottoman provincial forces from the Ayelet of Bosnia had several attempts to seize major forts and towns across the Iruna and Sava rivers. On 26 October 1584 smaller Ottoman units were defeated at the Battle of Slunge, and on 6 December 1586 near Ivanic Grad. However, Ottoman raids and attacks were increasing and the Croatian nobles were fighting without Habsburg support. Premise in August 1591, without a declaration of war, Hassan Pasha Predajevic, Ottoman Beglerberg of the Ayelet of Bosnia and Vizier, attacked Croatia and reached Sizak, but was repelled after four days of fighting. Thomas Erdudi, Ban of Croatia, launched a counter-attack and seized much of the Moslavina region. The same year Hassan Pasha launched another attack, taking the town of Ripak on the Una River. These raids forced the band to convene a meeting of the Croatian parliament in Zagreb on 5 January 1592 and declare a general uprising to defend the country. These actions of the regional Ottoman forces under Hassan Pasha seem to have been contrary to the interest and policy of the central Ottoman administration in Constantinople, and due rather to aims of conquest and organized plundering by the warlike Bosnian Sipahis. Although perhaps also under the pretext of putting an end to Uskok raids into the Ayelet, since the two realms had signed a nine-year peace treaty, earlier in 1590, in June 1592 Hassan Pasha captured Bitak and directed his forces towards Sizak for the second time. The fall of Bitak caused fear in Croatia since it had stood on the border for decades. Hassan Pasha also successfully captured and burnt the band's military encampment in Brest on 19 July 1592, built by Erdudi a few months earlier near Petrinja. 
The camp had around 3,000 men, while the Ottoman forces had around 7-8,000. On 24 July the Ottomans started besieging Sizak, but lifted the siege after five days of fighting and heavy losses, leaving the region of Toropol ravaged. These events encouraged the emperor to make more effort in order to stop the Ottomans, whose actions were halted by the winter. Battle. In spring 1593, Bailey Bihasan Pasha Predijevich gathered a large army in Petrinja and on 15 June again crossed the Kupa River and started his third attack on Sizak. His army consisted of around 12,000 minus 16.000 troops from the Sanjaks of Kalis, Lika, Zvornik, Herzegovina, Poyega, and Cernik. Sizak was defended by at most 800 men commanded by Matija Fiktik, who died on 21 June, and Blaise Turak, both from Kaptal, seat of the Roman Catholic Archbishop of Zagreb. The town was under heavy artillery fire and a call for help was sent to the Croatian ban. Reinforcements led by Austrian Colonel General Ruprecht von Eggenberg. Van Thomas Erdidi and Colonel Andreas von Auersberg arrived near Sizak on 21 June. They numbered around 4,000 minus 5,000 cavalry and infantry. Mustafa Nyman narrates that, after making the preparatives before the battle, Hassan Pasha commanded Gezi Hodza Memi Bey, father of Sarhos Ibrahim Pasha, a renowned military commander, to cross the river and recognizing the enemy forces. When returning to the Ottoman encampment, he reported to Hassan Pasha what he had seen, and assured him as well that it would be altogether ruinous to give battle to a so superior force as the enemy possessed. Naima also narrates that after hearing this, Hassan Pasha, who was credited as a fearless military leader, and happened to be playing at chess at that very moment, severely responded to him, Curse you, you despicable wretch! to be afraid of numbers, out of my sight. And then the Beglerberg mounted his horse and began to mobilize the Ottoman forces across the bridges he had previously ordered to be constructed. On the 22nd of June, between 11 and 12 o'clock, Urdidi and Auersberg's forces attacked Ottoman positions with the army of the Ban in front, consisting of Croatian hussars and infantry. The first assault was repulsed by Ottoman cavalry. Then the soldiers of Colonel Auersberg joined the attack followed by Eggenberg's and other commander's men, forcing the Ottomans back towards the Cooper River. The army of Hassan Pasha Predijevich was driven into a corner between the rivers Odra and the Cooper, with the bridge across Cooper taken by soldiers from Karlovac. The Sizak garrison led by Blaise Turak attacked the remaining Ottoman forces that were besieging Sizak. Caught in the middle, between two Christian army flanks, the Ottomans panicked and started a chaotic retreat, trying to swim across the Cooper River and reach their camp. The bulk of the army with most of the commanders were either slaughtered or drowned in the river. The battle lasted around one hour and ended in a total defeat of the Ottomans. Hassan Pasha Predijevich, the Muslim Vlach captain of the Ottoman regional force, did not survive the battle. Among the Ottoman commanders that were killed or had drowned in Cooper were Sultan Zada Mehmet Bey of the Sanjak of Herzegovina, Dezefa Bey of the Sanjak of Pakrak Cernica as well as Hassan's brother, Ono Memi Bey of the Sanjak of Zavornik and Ramazan Bey of the Sanjak of Poyega. Ibrahim Bey of the Sanjak of Lika managed to escape. Total Ottoman losses were around 8,000 killed or drowned. The Christian army captured 2,000 horses, 10 war flags, falconets and artillery ammunition left by the Ottomans. Christian army losses were light. A report from Andreas von Auersberg submitted to Archduke Ernest on 24 June 1593 mentions only 40 to 50 casualties for his troops. Aftermath and consequences Christian Europe was delighted at the grandiose reports of the victory at Sizak. Pope Clement VIII praised the Christian military leaders, sending a letter of gratitude to Ban Erdidi.
while King Philip II of Spain named Bernarda de Knight of the Order of Saint Saviour. The Archdiocese of Zagreb built a chapel in the village of Gradenis Isaac to commemorate the victory and decreed that a gratitude mass should be held every 22 of June in Zagreb. The cloak of Hassan Pasha was given to the Ljubljana Cathedral. Blaise Turak, commander of the Sizak garrison, was awarded by the Croatian parliament for his contribution to the victory. Van Thomas Erdity wanted to take advantage of the victory and take Petrinja, where the remnants of the Ottoman army fled. However, Colonel General Egenberg considered that there is not enough food for their army and the attack on Petrinja was halted. After news of the defeat reached Constantinople, a revenge was demanded from the military leaders and the Sultan's sister, whose son Mehmed was killed in the battle. Although the action of Hassan Pasha was not in accordance with the interests and policy of the port, the Sultan felt that such an embarrassing defeat even of a vassal acting off his own bat could not go unavenged. Sultan Murad III declared war on Emperor Rudolf II that same year, starting the long war that was fought mainly in Hungary and Croatia. The war extended through the reign of Mehmed III and into that of Ahmed I. During the war the Ottomans managed to take Sizak. On 24 August 1593 the Ottomans used the absence of a large army near Sizak, which was defended by 100 soldiers. With strong cannon fire they managed to break through the walls and on 30 August the fortress surrendered. Sizak was liberated on the 11th of August 1594, when the Ottoman garrison fled and set the fortress on fire. The long war ended with the peace of Zedzik Vitoric on the 11th of November 1606, marking the first sign of the suppression of Ottoman expansion into Central Europe and stabilization of the frontier for half a century. In Austria with the duchies of Styria, Carinthia and Carniola remained free from Ottoman control. Croatia was also able to maintain its independence from further Ottoman incursions and made some territorial gains following the peace treaty, such as Petrinja, Moslavina and Kazmar. It is also important to point out that, after this first great Ottoman defeat in northwestern Balkans, the Orthodox Christian subjects of the empire particularly Serbs and Vlachs who had been very loyal and military useful to the port till that very moment began then to lose faith in their Muslim masters, and began passing slowly over the Christian Habsburg side by emigrating from Ottoman-controlled lands to those of Habsburgs, or even revolting against the Turks in their own territory. Legacy as the Battle of Sizak took place on Croatian territory and the main body of the Christian defenders consisted of Croatian troops, the victory has ever since played a major role in the traditional interpretation of the history of Croatia. Croatia issued a commemorative stamp in 1993 called Victory at Sizak. The traditional daily ringing of the small bell of Zagreb Cathedral at 2 p.m. is in memory of the battle as it was the Bishop of Zagreb who had borne the major part of the costs of the fortress of Sizak. Since fighters from neighboring Carniola reinforced the defenders, the battle is also a part of the Slovenian tradition. On the 22nd of June 1993, the Republic of Slovenia issued three memorial coins and a postage stamp to commemorate the 400 years anniversary of the Battle of Sizak. Literature Stanford J. Shaw, History of the Ottoman Empire and Modern Turkey Volume 1, Empire of Gazus, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-29163-1, Joseph von Hammer Pergstahl, Geschichte des Osmanischen Reiches Gross in Thiels aus Bischer und Benutzt in Handschriften und Archiven. Volume 4, Vom Regierungs und Dritten Murad des Dritten bis zur Sviten Entthronung Mustafa des Ersten 1574 to 1623, Budapest, C. A. Hartler Ben, 1829, Reprint, Graz, Akademischer Druck U. Verlags Tolt, 1963, Alfred H. Lobel, Das Rietige Effekt B. E. Isisek Vom 22. 
Juni 1593. Mitteilungen des Instituts für Osterische Geschichtsforschung IX, pp. 767-787. Peter Radix, Die Schlacht bei Sisek, 22. Juni 1593, Ljubljana. Joseph Blasnik, 1861.